Hey everybody! This video is not going to be as happy as my life because I'm not really going to have to do it at The key to the world is in my hand. Just cheering on it. I don't know why, it's probably not going to open my little piggy bank anymore. Anyway, so today I'm in a bad mood. Well, not really bad news. I don't really get bad news. I do sometimes. I don't. I'm tired of it. Excuse me. I'm in a bit of a sad mood. Today, I'm gonna my mum. Every now and then, I have too much time to think. Think of my mum and I get sad. those of you who don't know, three and a half years ago, my mom died. And I really haven't come to terms with it yet. I know it's been a long time, but still cry a lot. Don't tell me. Obviously, have now. Well, if anybody knows my YouTube thing, Bobby. Um, we departed on very bad terms. I sort of, even though I was an adult, not to be mama's girl, so I sort of ran away from home. And then, I'm sorry again. We used to talk on the phone after I ran away from home. Of course, I did it the right way and went a whole ocean between us. So, yeah. Then one day, she took my brothers and sisters and their girlfriends and boyfriends and friends who lived with us and other strays that she picked up along the way. <laughs> Excuse me. To the drive in one night. Um, she said she wasn't feeling well. They had a good night. We went home. She just didn't wake up the next day. Um. We sat and brother found her. Of course. They they told me on Thursday night, which was long since after they found out. They told me Thursday night and we had the funeral and everything for her on Saturday. So we couldn't get there if I wanted to. Right back. It's really Just upsetting myself more now. How much my boyfriend had known her. I'm probably thinking of her because we're talking about getting married. Well, I'm more talking than he is. But I want to get married. But when I think of it, you know, lots of girls dream about the nice white wedding. But, you know, just be sad if you have. Big boy wedding. Obviously, my mom's not going to be there. My brothers and sisters won't bother going. Maybe my dad will, go, but I doubt it. Maybe my aunt. It's pretty expensive to fly all the way here. And I have like one friend in this whole world. 
I don't think she has the means to get here either. She didn't even believe that it was ever going to happen. My mom, ages ago, she bought me place settings for the day we get married. They're quite ugly. They're like lime green and bright orange. They were summer settings. And she ended up giving them to my, my cousin, which really, not really bothered cousin eating stuff because her boyfriend had trashed all of her stuff. Mm. Mm. Think about it now. Thinking of <sighs> the funny thing she does. She did. Remember having a friend over? Had a friend over. Someone else was over. She was sat in the front garden and my sister come out and I don't know what she said, but she said something to my mum. My mum was like, Oh, Rhea, you're just being a loser. And my sister's like, What? <laughs> and then my mum was like, A loser, you know, loser. And we were just like, It's embarrassing. She was a good person. I like to say she was a good mother. She wasn't a good mother. She was a good person. She had four kids. Um, three different fathers. A stepfather and lots of cheating going on. That didn't really make her a good person. But she took in strays, like I said. My friend Deanna lived with us because she didn't get on, well, she got on with her family, but her family was huge. She's, yeah, she's one of 11 children. So she lived with us, and my cousin wasn't getting on with her mom, so she came and lived with us. My brother's friend had a fight with his parents, so he lived with us. Another one of my brother's friends couldn't pay his rent, so he lived with us. We had two more strays, I don't even know where, where we got them from. Big dysfunctional family. Noreen, she was married, and her ex husband still lived in our house because he wanted to see his kids. Bit strange, really. I've only recently taken her pictures out. I didn't really want to look at her. Of her, um, all, all the, um, poems and stuff that was said at her funeral on a bookshelf at the back, hidden. I don't know why they sent you me. I don't want to read it's bad enough that I can go to a funeral. I don't want to, you Go to bed. <laughs>